Thinking of switching from Windows to Linux but don't want to dive into the deep end? Meet Zorin OS, the Linux distro designed to feel familiar to Windows users, but is it really the perfect replacement? Let's find out. With the end of support for Windows 10 in October 2025, many users are considering alternative operating systems. One such alternative is Zorin OS, a user-friendly Linux distribution. Zorin OS is an Ubuntu-based Linux distribution created with one goal in mind, to provide a familiar and user-friendly experience for Windows and even Mac OS users. It comes with a customizable desktop environment that mimics the look and feel of Windows, making the switch almost seamless. But it's not just about looks. Zorin OS is packed with features like built-in wine and bottles support for running Windows apps, a lightweight design for older hardware, and a pro version with even more layouts and tools. Installing Zorin OS is smoother, faster, and more privacy respecting than Windows 10 or 11, especially for new users or those with older PCs. You won't get bogged down in account setups, pre-installed bloat, or endless updates right after install. You can also try Zorin in live mode before committing. Just download the Zorin OS, create a USB bootable disk, and then boot from USB. Click Install Zorin OS. The clean, simple UI walks you through language selection, Wi-Fi connection partitioning with an easy erase disk and install option, keyboard layout location setup, and account setup. The biggest hurdle for Windows users switching to Linux is the unfamiliar interface. Zorin OS solves this with its desktop layouts feature. With just a few clicks, you can switch between a Windows 11 style layout, a classic Windows 7 look, or even a Mac OS style dock. The taskbar, start menu, and system tray all feel instantly recognizable. No steep learning curve here. Zorin OS Pro includes additional layouts that mimic popular desktop environments, so you can make your system look and feel familiar. These layouts are easy to switch between using the Zorin Appearance app. Zorin OS Pro is a one-time purchase, around $47 US dollars at the time of this video, and the money helps support the development of the OS. If you want more layouts, premium desktop themes pre-installed professional-grade apps, direct installation support from Zorin developers, then the Pro upgrade is worth considering. In Zorin OS, you can connect your online account similarly to how you might on Windows or Mac OS, allowing integration with services like Google, Microsoft, and Nextcloud. This feature helps sync your email, calendar, contacts, files, and more across your apps. Zorin Connect is a fantastic feature that lets you link your phone to your Zorin OS computer, giving you seamless integration across devices. It works over an encrypted connection on your local network, so your data stays private and doesn't reach the cloud. Zorin OS includes all the essential apps you need to start working immediately, right out of the box. Explore thousands of powerful applications through the built-in software store. You can also access the official Zorin OS Help Center at. It offers comprehensive guides and tutorials to assist you in getting the most out of Zorin OS. Key resources available are installation guides, step-by-step -step instructions for installing Zorin OS alongside your current operating system or as a standalone system, getting started guide, 
tips and tutorials to help you become familiar with Zorin OS features and settings. For community support and discussions, you can also visit the Zorin Forum, where users share experiences, solutions, and tips related to Zorin OS. If you need assistance with a specific topic or feature, feel free to ask. You can even run many Windows applications on Zorin OS using the built-in Windows App Support feature, powered by Wine and Bottles. Windows App Support in Zorin OS allows you to run many popular Windows applications directly on your Linux system. No need for dual booting or virtual machines. Zorin OS uses a compatibility layer called Wine, short for Wine is not an emulator, to run Windows programs on Linux. Zorin OS enhances this with Bottles, a graphical tool that helps manage and configure Windows apps in a more user-friendly way. What you can do with it, you can run many .x and .msi installers by double-clicking them. It also suggests Linux apps similar to the Windows app you're trying to install. If I try installing Notepad++, a Windows-specific app, Zorin OS also suggests that I install Notepad Next. For users new to Linux, it's important to understand that you can't simply download a .exe file, double-click it, and expect it to install like it would on Windows. Linux doesn't natively support Windows executables. However, Zorin OS bridges that gap by offering support for Windows apps through Wine, a compatibility layer that lets many .exe programs run on Linux. Even better, Zorin OS simplifies this process by offering to install Wine automatically when you try to open a Windows app. That means if you still rely on a specific Windows program, Zorin OS gives you the tools to keep using it. This is a major advantage. Zorin OS has curated a collection of over 150 Windows-compatible apps, making it easier for newcomers to find the familiar software they need, or high-quality Linux alternatives that work just as well. Of course, it's not all sunshine and roses. Advanced users might find Zorin a bit too locked down or simplified, though that's intentional, it's made for beginners. Gaming performance is decent thanks to Proton and Steam support, but if you're a hardcore gamer, there might be better options like Pop, Swim, OS, or Nobera. So is Zorin OS the perfect Linux distro for Windows users? Honestly, it just might be. It combines a beautiful interface, rock-solid stability, and a low barrier to entry. If you've been nervous about making the switch, Zorin OS could be the bridge you've been looking for. It's great for students, casual users, family PCs, and even offices looking to cut down on Windows licensing costs. Have you tried Zorin OS? Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Linux content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.